If you're waking up hungover on a regular basis because you've lost touch with your off switch and you can't seem to control how much you're drinking when you do drink, I wanna tell you how you can get back in control. The truth is patterns of excessive drinking are usually something that uh, is learned over time. And once someone has crossed over from a quote unquote normal drinker into a regular heavy drinker, um, it really becomes difficult to kind of reverse back. And so a lot of people will just struggle to moderate their drinking. Maybe they'll really feel like they're white knuckling it and having to put in a lot of work. Maybe they're trying to force more alcohol free time or set more rules around their drinking. Uh, but oftentimes none of these things are working. And for a lot of people, their drinking can actually continue to get worse, despite them putting forth more effort to have control around it. I say this because I want you to know and understand that alcohol use disorder is not something that is a lack of willpower or something that's your fault because you lack discipline. It's really something that your brain has learned over time by repeatedly drinking. And for many people, myself included, they don't set out to develop an alcohol use disorder. Um, they really start out by just drinking because it's so socially acceptable. It's something that we do. Um, it's fun. And before they know it, um, it's kind of crossed over from normal drinking into this compulsive drinking where someone lacks control. So how is it that you can get your off switch back and get to a place where you experience genuine control when you drink? So the key to getting to a place where you're back in control of drinking is really treating it at the root issue, which is actually inside of the brain. I mentioned that alcohol use disorder is a learned behavior and it's something that is learned in the pleasure centers of our brain. And once we've crossed over from normal drinker into alcohol use disorder type of drinking, it has changed our brain. And so even when we exude a lot of willpower and planning and logic and reason, the part of our brain that's driving alcohol use disorder is really calling the shots and no pun intended. And and that part of the brain is actually mistakenly equating alcohol to a survival need. And so the desire and compulsion for alcohol is beyond anything that we're doing um, logically or any reason or any willpower that we're trying to throw at the problem. One very effective, however, not very well-known treatment for alcohol use disorder is called the Sinclair Method. This protocol treats the alcohol use disorder at the root level, which is inside of the brain. And for most people who use this treatment, they experience fewer alcohol cravings, more control when they drink, and easier alcohol-free days. Learn more about this treatment with the link in my bio and the other videos I have on here. Bye for now.